I'm up here on Mather Pass and I feel great on the ascent. Now I'm just waiting on Paul and Andy. As we met up with other people on the trail, we'd stop and talk about when we were going to finish and we discovered most people were finishing a day or so behind us and we really started to worry of whether or not we could finish on time. Uh, we met a couple of guys who had hiked the trail before and they told us how difficult the final passes were and they just blatantly told us there was no way we were going to finish on time. So we really started to worry. <laughs> well, we've had some fun on the trail uh, and some excitement. I've been known to let out a little whoop whoop every once in a while. Hey guys, so it is early in the morning and the rain has just been coming down all night. Um, I'm in a little bit of a predicament. The rain softened the ground enough and my stakes pulled right out. And uh, just like that, my tent fell down. So uh, it fell down again. It was holding well, but uh, it fell down and it's letting in a ton of water. So anyway, uh, I gotta find some dry shelter. I got myself dressed in my rain gear. Now I gotta make a run for it, so. This is about as real as it gets. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go and figure things out, all right? It's the morning of day 11 and let me tell you, it was a crazy night. Uh, there were monsoonal thunderstorms, just very high winds, thunder, lightning, heavy rain all night, you name it, pretty much had it. Let me just say, when you're sleeping and you feel your tent on top of you and feel water rushing in, it is about the worst experience, especially when it was as cold as it was. All my gear, um, I guess my sleeping bag and my jacket is down, so those both got soaked and I had no method of keeping warm really. Luckily my rain gear was somewhat dry, um, but my sleeping pad even got waterlogged. Um, I don't... You hear that? It's just full of water, so it's been a great sleeping pad, but obviously uh, when it's full of water it's not quite as useful. So got to figure out how to dry all this stuff out pretty quickly and get back on the trail. It's been a pretty crazy uh, night of day 10 and um, the craziness continues into the morning of day 11 but we'll get some miles in and uh, we'll see you down the trail. One of the things I think is so incredible about the John Muir Trail is just how pristine all the water sources are. I mean, there's water everywhere, and you can see to the bottom of all these lakes, and they all just have that amazing blue color. I just took my last ibuprofen. We discovered hiker candy, which is ibuprofen, and uh, we we're moving miles quite a bit uh, faster now. And uh, again, I have no idea how many we've taken. I've been really impressed with the trail. The trail crews have dug in the trail and to the side of some of these passes in ways that I just couldn't even imagine. We are here at about 13,200 feet on Forrester Pass. This is the last pass before Whitney just got here and we are pumped to go way far down now to a bunch of trees. We're going to set up camp and it's going to be amazing. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with some views like this. When we got to the top of Mather Pass, we were feeling really good and went ahead and did an additional pass that same day. And the next day we did two passes also. Uh, once we came up over Forrester Pass, we knew the end was in sight, and we were going to finish on time. When we take a break, um, I like to take my shoes off. Uh, my number one problem on this trail has been my feet ache. And uh, I'm not ashamed to, even if the guys think it's a 10 minute break, uh, 
my shoes will suddenly fall off and uh, socks too. At this point in the journey, we are at uh, Guitar Lake and all we have to do in the morning is put in a few mere miles to the top of Whitney and we will have completed the John Muir Trail. Woo! We did it! <laughs> we made on top of Whitney, over 200 miles under our belt and we are on top of the highest peak in the 48 states. Uh, it's a great feeling. Love being here on top. Woohoo! People out here are just everyday people, you know, looking for that beauty that the John Muir Trail is so well known for. Hi, I'm Chris with Sierra Trading Post and this is Paul with The Outdoor Adventure. Thanks for taking the time to watch these videos about the John Muir Trail. If you're interested in seeing my take on the adventure, why don't you head over to my channel down below here. And to see more of our videos from the trail, click right up here. My chest is found the shore.